What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And we're here with the super bosses this time around. The super boss against Monkey D. Luffy. So we've got the three different variations, Strength X and Quick, and this is the first one versus Strength. Now, don't take this as like the lay of the land. The these teams are going to be changing and progressing as this Kizuna goes forward. These are just the initial teams that uh, me and a couple of people in my alliance were kind of brewing up at the moment. So don't think that these are the same teams I'm going to be using at the end of the Kizuna. Just like with all super bosses, teams will always change as the hours go on in this event, as people find out new strategies and new ways to get around the gimmicks whilst also doing more damage. So with this team here, this is a bit of a weird one, honestly, realistically, you're not going to be able to get ulti and page one special or their super switch ready to go unfortunately um so there's really no reason why you should be stalling with this particular team here and because of that we are also using the liberal hind because i was kind of predicting the fact that we're going to be stalling for quite a long time so the shark superb really didn't make a lot of sense but looking back at it you probably can go ahead and you know use the shark superb considering the fact that you're not really going to be able to use ulti page one special which means you don't really need to stall but we are going to be using the law as a as the friend captain here really key component is he does have the ability to give us the conditional boost which means we don't really have to worry about the increased defense that stage two actually has so that makes things a lot easier also beppo giving us a full board of matching slots as well and because we are using a level five super tandem law friend we're allowing us to get the super tandem mechanic on that stage which does make battle 2 way way easier now in terms of everything on the final boss stage obviously it's focused around doing as much damage as we possibly can and there are two key supports that we are using. We're actually using the brand new VV from the support Sugo Fest on Luffy and the Straw Hats to get rid of the damage threshold. And it also gives us a 10% damage bonus for our uh, Strength X and Quick characters because of the resistance down. And we are also using the, um, what do you call it? The Mr. One who actually gets rid of uh, paralysis and he also gives us a chain boosting effect, which is pretty great. But looking back at it, Beppo actually already does a chain boost. So you actually don't really need that because the paralysis is removed by law's captain ability and the chain boost from beppo special is more significant than the chain boost that you get from the mr one support so looking back at it you could probably just replace that with another unit that provides better stats for bond clay specifically Moving on now to the second team. This team is, is really fun to use as we get to go ahead and use the hybrid Kaido, super tandem Kaido. And whenever they have a Dex super boss, as long as they have some type of way to give cooldown to Kaido, he's always going to be the man to use just because he's just the guy, man. His super tandem is broken as hell. His just innate abilities that he provides are so good. The increased damage taken, he has access to Wano slots. He's ridiculous. However, battle two is actually really tricky there's paralysis there is burn there are easy perfects which means that if you don't get rid of the burn it's going to heavily inflict a lot of damage to you when you kill battle 2 he does 40,000 damage to your team which means if you've taken a lot of damage from the burn then the 40,000 damage will likely kill you so you have to be very careful the way that we're getting around it here is we're actually using the support of the arena queen attached to king and that actually removes three turns of burn so we don't even have to worry about that at all that also provides an attack boost to our team as well and because we are using x drake you know we don't have to worry about saving king for the final stage you know the uh the x drake is going to provide us with that 2.5 times attack boost anyway and uh funnily enough we actually get the animation for the super tandem though the super tandem for who's who really doesn't mean much here anyways and then of course on the final boss stage we have a couple of other key effects we have the support of page one on drake which gets rid of attack down on the final stage two turns of attack down then once again is going to be threshold now normally you would 
want to be using VV support, but because of the paralysis that was happening on Battle 2, there's not a lot of good ways to get around that. So we had Barto support on Luffy and the Straw Hats to get around the paralysis. So the way that we're getting around the threshold on the final stage is we're using the Jack special ability, which gives us a chain boost. But looking back at it, you probably want to use Who's Who's special first because his chain boost is more significant than Jack's. So it would have given us a little bit of additional damage and... Uh, just would have been a better option overall. But don't use a base attack boost. If you use any effect that gives a base attack boost, like Bond Clay Special, for example, they remove your beneficial effects and they bind you. So do not use a base attack boost special on the versus Dex fight. And now I move on to the final team, which is going to be against the Quick Boss. And with this one, I do make a couple of uh, very, very minor errors in this team that would definitely improve the damage a little bit. One error is I would start this as the Strength Luffy and Crew, not the Dex Luffy and Crew. Uh, because when we get to the last stage, we do need to use their super switch, which means that we lose out on quite a bit of damage because the fact that Luffy crew is fully boosted by all of the buffs that we'll be activating in this uh, in this team. So the fact that we make him strength means that he does lose out on quite a lot of damage, even though that their damage is not added onto their final tap. It still is a lot of additional damage that we would be missing out on. And also we decide to use Ace and Yamato's conditional boost instead of ulti and page ones, which is again another downside, which we really should have used their conditional boost as they have a 2.25 times conditional versus uh, Ace and Yamato which is a 1.75 so again we would have lost out on quite a bit of damage there. This team is kind of annoying as well because we do need to stall for Bon Clay's special. He is not getting uh, any special cooldown on this fight so we do need to be very very cautious of that and also on the final boss stage we do need to be very cautious because you, you're not allowed to use any special that gives you a chain boost so you have to have some type of support effect that activates a chain boost um otherwise you know if you activate like luffy and the straw hat special for example they provide a chain boost so you gotta be really really careful about what you're actually doing there but ultimately it does do pretty decent damage but as i said it's not going to be the final team that we have for this uh super boss kizuna clash but that is going to wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video すごい。友情の名の元に。はい、こう。エス。おにしや。行くぞ。おにし。やれぞ。